thing that, that, that I hear from other people that, you know, confirm how I, I feel about myself is that I'm a very giving person and, uh, and I like to help people. I like to be of service. We're all divine, or our, our nature is divine. Spirit lives within us, and so we have every right to bring that through and be conduits for spirit and the divine healing that happens. It, it's about love. It's about bringing through that vibration of love, and to me, love is the healer. It is the place of unconditional love. It is the love that you have for a child. It is the love that you have for your pets. It is the love that wants nothing in return. It is love for love's sake. That's the point you get to when you have that purity of heart that spirit works through. You, you are giving it in the most pure form, so freely, with um, uh, sacrifice in a way, but in, a, in the most positive way a sacrifice can be made. It's a loving gift. I help the person set their intentions for the session. That's so important. People need to be involved in their own healing process. So I do a little guidance and they don't have to speak out loud. It's between them and spirit. Before a session, I, I always check in with the person to find out why they're here, what brought them here, and what they want me to work on. But they may feel electrical feelings, and those are, are definitely uh, um, blocked energies that are being unblocked, and they will feel them either come out their hands or their feet. Sometimes other places of the body, they'll feel them come right out of their heart or their head. I never know. If the energy um, uh, goes to a place and that place is running cold but it needs to be heated up, then they'll feel the warmth. And just the opposite, if something's running uh, hot, then they'll feel the coolness. So the energy is the intelligence and it does what it needs to do. I feel tingling in my hands and the tingling or the pulsing is actually a feedback of the energy from the person who's receiving it. it. I know when they're getting something, I know when something's being released because I feel the body pulsing and for me that's just a, you know, a sign that something major is happening here. I've always said that a body that is stressed just does not heal too easily. So when you get into that really beautiful, <clears throat> relaxed state and things open up like that, that's where the real healing comes in. I can feel the relaxation, especially when you're around my head and when you hold it. You, you bring so much love through. It's just... Uh, I think uh, the best healing I've had from Marilyn was when I could really feel the love coming through and, then, and, and that's such a great feeling. It's, it's just, uh, it just penetrates throughout your body and you just feel great. To be my guest room, uh, but it's also my healing room. And so I have laid out many of the tools that I use during a session. Just I've been working with crystals and stones for probably almost four years now, I guess. The stones for the different chakras, which I place on top of the chakras, and then stones that sort of go around the body uh, are in this basket over here. And it's an intuitive thing. I'll just know which crystals and stones to use. People will start to talk about feeling the vibrations of the crystals and stones as soon as they're on the table and I haven't even touched them. I haven't even started my work yet. Pretty much uh, goes along the lines of working down the chakra system. Pendulum helps me to also find out where the imbalances are uh, in the energy system because the pendulum will go kind of crazy and will take energies out actually. If it's a counterclock spin, it's taking things out. If it's a clockwise spin, it's putting energies in. The Love's Blessing Spray 
both before and after because that helps to set a beautiful space for the healing and it also helps to, to clean, cleanse the energy. That somebody feels better after they leave versus when they came in. That's my joy. Uh, the other part of my joy is talking to them afterwards and finding out exactly what their experience was. Or I love it when people talk about seeing things, uh, visions, or having colors come in. And some people, for the first time, have seen those colors on the inner realm that had never seen them before. And that just thrills me so much. You cradle um, your clients with love deeply, like Mother Earth cradles all of its animal kingdom and plants. Everybody on the planet who wants to do healing work can do healing work because we are born with that within us. We just need to know how to tap into it. I do a lot to help, I feel, help, help educate people so that they can continue to do some of these things on their own and they don't necessarily need to have you know, a healer at hand. There are three components if you want to be a healer. Are you breathing? Are you conscious and aware? And can you radiate love from your heart? You have got to be present. You've got to want to do it and have your heart in the right place. And then spirit works through you. Thank you.